Steve Gamash here with another Chef Knives to Go Quick Look product video. And this time we're looking at the Kineske HD2 Ghetto Hoewood Handle 240mm knife. This line of knives is a core steel of what's known as HD2. It's the second generation HD proprietary semi stainless steel from Kineske. And the heat treat rating is about 61 Rockwell on this steel. It is a mono steel blade, so uh, the entire blade is made out of the same core steel. Or the same steel, I should say. There is no uh, cladding, there are no layers. Uh, the weight on this knife is very, very light. This is one of the quintessential laser style gyotos, and so the weight on this knife, despite its size, is only 135 grams or 4.8 ounces. It is light. The blade length is about 234, so it's a little under 240. Uh, this is typical size for this knife. The overall length is about 15.4 inches on this knife. The spine thickness on these knives, it's not like super skinny, but they're so nicely designed with the, gr uh, the grind contour. It's about 2.4 millimeters, it thins down off of that, and then thins down really nicely for a distal taper at the tip. The tip works great on these things. And the blade height is about 48.9, almost 49 millimeters at the heel, so it's a nice height and gives you plenty of board clearance. The handle type is nothing fancy, just a good basic octagonal hoewood handle um, with a buffalo horn ferrule, good fit and finish, it's light, which is such a light blade that this light handle kind of balances it out pretty nicely in my opinion. The circumference of the handle right here is about 3 inches, which is just kind of a standard size handle for most ghettos I've found. Uh, Kineske almost has legendary fit and finish and this is really no exception. It's just got really nicely relieved neck, uh, choil area and spine semi-rounded spine and the fit and finish is great you've got nice embossed pretty deeply embossed uh, logo and steel type listed on it and um, it's just a great blade it's a, it's a ambidextrous blade it's got a contour on the grind despite the thinness of the blade that's really legendary and it's just a great all-around lightweight laser style Gyoto. This is one of the benchmark laser style Gyotos out there and for very good reason. The um, knife has, and I did cut myself on a previous knife. I've never done that yet in 260 something videos and I cut myself on a Minamoto Nakiri just a little bit. So there's your edge profile. It is a really nice gentle profile with a little bit of a flat spot at the rear. Here is how thin this knife gets towards the edge. And it really works nice on the board. This is a great all-around profile. This knife just glides through stuff like onions and other things like that. It just blows through product. It is just a pleasure to use this knife. If you're used to a 210 and you want to move up to a 240 and you're worried about it being too heavy or long, it's so light that it does not feel like a 240. And it's only, what, 234 on the edge, so uh, it will feel almost like a lot of 210s because it's so light. But look at that nice gentle profile. It's got a decent amount of belly to it, a little bit of a flat spot at the heel, and good for a lot of different styles or techniques. It's not super flat on the edge, but they've got another alternative called the Funayuki Profile Gyoto Hybrid that's got a flatter edge profile. So, beautifully crafted knife, goes through products great, really nice core steel, light, uh, balance point is right almost perfectly on a pinch grip on this knife. These, you can get these with ebony handles, but that throws the balance point way back from that because of the heavier handle. So if you want the balance point near a pinch grip, uh, this Hoewood basic handle is the one to get because it's light enough to fit the blade, at least that's my personal opinion. So classic quintessential Gyoto. Let's compare it, I'm going to make this video a little bit longer, but let's compare this to an often looked at knife that people ask about and that's the Funayuki style. So this is a slightly different style Gyoto. Same steel, very similar length. Um, the Funayuki is is flatter on the edge in general. It's got a pointier tip. You can see that the spine goes down towards the edge of the knife versus here the spine kind of stays up and the edge curves up more towards the spine so you've got a little more belly towards the front third or half of the blade and here it's a little bit flatter and more of a pointed tip so definitely a thinner tip for a little bit more detail work it's not as high if you want to do a lot of knuckles the tip isn't as high there so it's a little bit harder to do that without nicking yourself but the um the profile let's just compare them side by side here 
So on my right is the, the regular 240 Ghetto, and on the left is the Funayuki. So you can kind of see the difference. The Funayuki is flatter overall. So just a little bit of a education on the difference between those two knives. So there you have a classic laser, the Kineske HD2 Gitto Howood handled 240 millimeter knife.